Talks with the GM. I am the GM, aka the surgeon when it's urgent because your relationship ain't working. And clearly, it ain't working. Uh, we here today. I'm not here to argue. Let's get that understood today. I'm not here to argue, but the guest to my right is. Introduce yourself, ma'am. What's up, y'all? I'm Makisha, formerly known as Keish the Menace. Don't call me nothing else if you didn't grow up with me. Uh, my Twitter name is at Keish J with two underscores. Don't forget them. To my left, y'all know the face. You got your boy Ant. Y'all go ahead and follow me. Underscore the very best. Hey, look. If you haven't liked, subscribe, follow, comment, man. Spread the word, share. 99 jams is up. We see what you're doing. Um, we had to talk about a couple things. I'm gonna try my best not to argue and let her get all up point side stuff like that. Cause she wants to fight, and I don't feel like doing that today, man. So, boys behind the camera, let's get into the first convers topic. Do women put men on child support to be spiteful? Three. Oh, she know how to go. She ain't football yet. I like that. Three, two, one. She put that name on that. C. Of course. C. Yes, they do. You? you got I yes? got a yes. I got a yes. I'm going to let the woman go first. Oh, well, show hand. Who's going first? You go first. No, you go first. All you right, motherfucker. You in charge, right? Go first. Of course, not all women put men on child support for spiteful reasons. But let's keep it real. There's a lot of women out there that's losing money having the child on the nigga on child support because they didn't get along instead of just not letting him, you know, get the money to them gracefully, like he go four hundred, five hundred. Girls be feeling the type of way, man. Was it because the nigga did something to her or didn't want to be with her? Or maybe he deserved it. But more times not more times than not. But sometimes women just do it just to do it. They don't be needing the fuck. Let me think if I say that. Not they don't need the money, but they're losing money and shit like that, and they would much rather just be mean and nigga, I'll put you on child support. Like, come on, man, be for real. Don't, don't make the child a play thing. Like, don't make this a me and you thing. It's a child thing. But I ain't got no kids, so, you know, I'm just here talking. What do I know? Exactly. Um, I say yes because most of the time it's done out of spite. It's never really done because. Most? All of the time. 90% of the time, it's like a 10% chance that you're being put on child support because you really have to be put on child support. Like, a lot of women, especially women that I know, they use that as a pawn. They use the child as a pawn to put you on child support. It's mostly always out of spite. It's always to be nasty. It's never because the child is actually in need and you not here to help me. It's always because, oh, we not together. You dealing with this person, this person. For me, you not spending enough time with my child, so I'm finna be nasty, I'm finna put you on child support. It's always used out of spite. It's never used as a necessity. And that's 90% of the time. Talk that shit, I love it. I ain't want to call ladies out on it, cause... <laughs> be honest, be, be honest, like... No, 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 I've got enough. It's, it's not back. that many ain't shit niggas out here. No. That I agree with. It's not that many it's not that many. Oh, y'all be pushing a lot of them that niggas, shit. A lot of them niggas be trying to be in their kids' life, yeah. and it's like the baby mama just want unnecessary drama. Me having a boyfriend that got two babies, two different baby mamas, it's always, it's, it's pettiness. They never do it because the child needs something. The child is in need. You not helping me. You not giving me enough money to support the child. It's always out of spite. Like, no matter how much money he give her or whatever, when she want to be nasty, I'm putting you on child support. That's the go-to for being spiteful. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I know. Come on, my face. I'm, I'm going to keep it G. I'm going to keep it G. It's always it. out of spite. I love it. A lot of, a lot of women, Ooh, if they just communicate, her. And sit with the guy like, okay, y'all can co-parent. It's nothing wrong with co-parent. Y'all come together, figure out what y'all gonna do. You did that's right. They missed out on a lot of more money. If y'all would have sat down and discussed how much you need, how much you want, you would have came out better. But instead, you want to be spiteful. Hey, man, she 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 came home with that one. All it's right. out of sight. But it's honest. But it's, you got that, and then you got the, oh, yeah, well, I don't want to see you with no new bitch. And then you go to trying to, oh, yeah, well, no, he can't be over there. Well, fucking, I'm going to put you on child support. Like, all because I don't want to be with you. You get me? Like, and that be the thing. Like, 
that's why it goes all into you gotta really you gotta really really be careful who you end up making a baby with like you, you can't be out here reproducing with no motherfucking foot dragger who 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 spiteful like that bro like and the thing is it's just like you see it so much now to where you could i could see how she would say it's 90 percent of the time hold on. it's not hold on my hair is everywhere what the fuck? <laughs> Ma'am. That means you move the cup. No, you got the all type of that means you need a new wig, shit, baby. Every damn sprint. Oh, you no, need a better it, wig. It's not man. a new wig. It's a frontal and brown and it costs me three hundred dollars. Hair sheds. That's what hair does. God, well, even if it's your real hair. Fucking you a German it shepherd? All shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. More like a As I was saying before, goddamn Cujo over there letting that <laughs> hair go into the cup. Well. The, um, yeah, man. Like it all goes into that, and then oh yeah, well I don't like the amount of money you giving me. I'm gonna put you on child support so that way I can get more money. And they're like, losing out. Hey, they look, do. Blake Griffin, Blake, you should have came and hollered at me. Holler at your boy. You losing two hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars a month for what, bro? Watch well, talk to the gym. All right. More yeah. of this story, fellas. Wrap it up. At uh, the end of the day, that, that could work too. Nobody, nobody's being hurt by the situation besides the child. Like you being spiteful. You hurt your child. You not hurting him. Yeah, I, I, I want to say this though. I have never me this, me have never seen a man put a woman on child support out of spite. I've barely ever seen a man put a woman on child support. Period. You that's just, facts. Nah, I've never seen. I, it's it's facts. It it really ever happens. Yeah. You know, I, I drop a lot of facts. I wouldn't lie to y'all. We speak facts on this show. I wouldn't lie to y'all. That's what I seen my own twice. Maybe y'all seen something different. I just never saw out of spite. Nah, I've seen it be done, but it was never out of spite. It was because she was really being a deadbeat. You know, like so the Ooh, thing with that is, deadbeat mothers. Yeah, unfit parents. It's not. It's not a lot of those. It's not. It's not a lot of those. It's not a lot of those. Just to let y'all know. Huh? Deadbeat mothers. It's not a lot of deadbeat mothers. Just, just to let y'all. I'm not gonna say it's not. It, lot, not a lot. I don't know. It's a lot of unfit parents out there. I mean, a deadbeat no. is somebody who doesn't even attempt yeah. to All right, we say take. deadbeat, yeah, like they don't, exactly. not broke. We that's somebody broke. that's not attempting uh, to take care yeah. of the child. They don't want to be there. They don't want to help. They don't want to see the child. Like, they don't think about the child every day. They don't care the child. Hey, yeah. like, that's so a deadbeat. So a deadbeat beat. parent and a broke parent, not the same thing. Let's get that. It's not the same thing. If you thing. broke and you struggling and you trying, and you with your child, that's not being a dead. I mean, you just you, don't have the means. But you can have money and still be an unfit parent. And you, de you no, definitely you can. can. You definitely can. So. Um, honestly, let's try. I didn't even say wrap it up. That's up to you. I encourage it. <laughs> but that's Fellas, up wrap that shit up, please. No, because you don't know. be out here just running all up in there just because she's nice to you in the first first few months or however long. Or because she, just look, cause, even or cause she just, look good. Or because she look good. Cause Cause at the end of the day, and that's that's like, they open. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Y'all know that's really Listen. sick that y'all would try to trap her. But okay. What? What? <laughs> Listen, I ain't said try. Oprah got, Oprah got all that money in the world, and now y'all like, okay, don't tell heard, nobody. From what I heard, Besides Oprah's, Oprah. a good, Oprah's a good catch. At the end of the day, fellas, your favorite girlfriend could turn into crazy baby mother. Mm -hmm. She your favorite girlfriend right now. It only been a year. That don't mean she's going to be the same person once them hormones get the kicking in and the baby get involved. Take the time out to learn these people. Women, the same thing go for you. Yeah, he cool now. Yeah, he giving you everything, but that man might not want no child. Y'all need to talk about all these things before y'all, you know, go ahead and decide y'all gonna have, lay down and have a baby. They don't decide that. They don't decide that. It just happens. Yeah, yeah no, niggas be out here trapping these women, and women be out here trapping these. Women. Quick sidebar: through trapping, what 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 be the goal? When you trap her, that don't mean she's not gonna have a baby and then not go have to keep a bitch in your life. Yeah, in your she, life. She's, she, I mean, she she got still somebody, some way. Trapping somebody guarantees you another like eighteen years of them just being in your life. Just being there. You like, just being you have to deal with them. Where they gonna go? You with them or not? Whether you with them or not, you have to deal with them. Y'all are sick You have to see them. a very sick individual to trap it, them. It it does. That's mental it, illness. And I well, me personally, I advocate for you to leave a motherfucker once you find out that they tried to trap you. If a girl ever tried to trap me, that'll be the last time she ever see me or talk to me. I get <laughs> but how would you know if a girl is trying to trap you? Because it's mostly boys well, not, trying to... Listen, look, I mean, girls, girls, girls keep the baby to try to trap you, but you have to put the baby in her. We so. don't go into detail, but we know. That's we it. know. We yeah. know. Look, man, I'm going to wrap that one up. Yes. 
They do it. Not all. I ain't even gonna say most. Ninety percent of them do it. I'm gonna say what they do a lot. I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say some thirty. 35%. 35? That, you, oh, what? For spite. For oh, spite? 35%? Look, man, I'm tired of them. But well, don't be a modest I'm tired of y'all killing me. Baby I'm tired of y'all killing me on my Twitter and in my mentions. And in my he he want to um, fulfill everybody needs, but that's not how it Y'all done seen me turn over yeah, 10 I episodes. Mean, don't do that. Okay, but you need to be honest. Up your ratio. Nope. Come on, like. Okay. Should exes be unfollowed once you're in a new relationship? Three, two, one. You got what? No. You got what? No. No. I got the pants. Uh, it depends. You go first again. You got damn, boy. Hey. You don't even want to. You got to go You got some shit today, ain't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you say, Nacho? Uh, you want some shit, Patch? Yeah, go ahead. It depends, man, because. If you just following the person and they following you and they ain't doing shit, like they're not adding you, not favoring no shit, not liking a bunch of pictures at a time, DM you, then they're just there. Like, all right, cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when they get out of line, start trying to retweet everything you say, favorite, miss you a bunch of times, have a conversation, liking all your pictures, commenting on your pictures, all of that shit, that's when there's a problem. Like, yeah, this needs to stop. And after you warn, like, tell the motherfucker and they keep going. You gonna follow or block them, or y'all can take another route. I would hope y'all keep it the regular route and just block them or follow them. And not go the other route. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't saying yeah, cause sometimes people. I will say this: if you fresh out out of breakup, I work out of sight, out of mind. So I might I'm gonna unfollow you on everything, so I don't think about you. I ain't gotta mm -hmm. see you. I ain't gotta think about you. I ain't gotta, you know, worry about what you're saying about me. I know a lot of girls that break up with their boyfriends or whatever the case may be and get on Twitter and they tweet about this man or that guy for days on end. Me personally, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm trying to get over you. So, I need to, anything that's gonna remind me of you, gotta be out my face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once I'm in a new relationship, if I still follow you, I ain't gonna refollow you, but if I'm following you already, then cool, whatever. But if I'm not, then, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's no big deal. Like, so it depends. I ain't really. I mean, for me, it's, it's more just like, if 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 I if I'm in a new relationship and this person ain't already been unfollowed from when we broke up, I'm not finna go look for them and unfollow. Them. That's not happening. Like like the thing is like, that'll be something that if 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 you a woman and you telling me that I need to go and find my ex on all my social medias, all my exes, and unfollow them. Or anybody that I used to deal with and unfollow that's, them. That's malarkey. That's an insecurity that's, issue. Yeah, that's an insecurity, that's an insecurity What's issue. What's the word for it? Malarkey. Yeah. That depends on what they're doing too. If they not calling the ruckus in the school, but yeah. yeah it's just like, bro, like, just for being them, you don't want me to like what the, like who does that? I'm not finna get on here and just be like, oh yeah, well, I need to go and find them and unfollow them. They ain't doing nothing to you. They are ex if, well, if, well, what if they are doing something? If they are doing something, that's a whole other story. Like, if they if they bothering sneak. you and, and you know, like, it's... Yeah, sneak, it's a unfollow ain't gonna change shit. Because yeah. yeah. at the end of the day, because that's the thing, like... If, if you apply to the sneak this, I'm saying you need to unfollow them so you don't gotta see that. Exactly, you know, but the thing is, like, for me, I don't really could give a fuck what you talking about exactly. over there. So it's like, the thing is, that wouldn't bother me. That ain't got nothing to do with what we doing over here. So, them being... Following me or or if they like my picture on on something that shouldn't it's a like now if I'm DMing them and stuff like that then I can understand that like if in that case now yeah your ex needs to be dealt with I like, can answer you, that if you, you know if you got a girlfriend but that's if, that's if you in a relationship what if you don't have a girlfriend and your ex DM me then what I'm a free man I can do what the fuck I want to do okay well I said no because for one you gonna see this glow. And for two, I don't give a fuck what my ex doing. That's the ex. Like, I don't care about nothing you tweet. I don't care about nothing you do. Especially if I'm in a whole nother relationship. I'm going to post pictures of me and my nigga. I want you to see me on Twitter being happy. Like, I'm following you for what? I don't care about you. You're an ex. You're in the past, bitch. We could be cordial. 
Hi, how you doing? But what? Nah, that's nah, it. You think that's your ex it. give a fuck about your own? Um, you think like, they, all they your do? Exes, they do. You think they all do. exes care about that? What's Most that? of them do. They like, oh damn, she got a new boyfriend. Oh, this a new nigga. Who he is? What's that's how they like a girl thing. That's yeah. not more like a girl thing. I mean, I'm not unfollowing you. I just don't see why it's necessary. I don't so what care if, what to unfollow you. What I don't if, care what about if anything you say. You all the time and stuff like that. Don't reply. It's simple. You just don't reply. Don't reply. You don't feel like I got I got exes on Twitter right now. I don't give a fuck about them. They write me on Twitter every day. Like, they they every other out. day. They probably are going to watch this. Yeah. They probably going to talk about it. They probably going to talk about me. At the end of the day, I don't care. You're an ex. Like, unfollowing you is not going to do nothing. Like, I'm going to ignore you anyways. I don't care if you tweet. Yeah. I don't care. Like, what you do with no bitches, like, it does not bother as me. Long, if you're in a relationship, and as long as you still handling the situation the way it needs to be handled, all that extra shit, unfollowing that you need to block this person, is unnecessary. Long as you doing what you need to do, you ain't writing back, you ain't feeding into it and entertaining it. Exes I don't could, care about nothing. Exactly, that. and the exes could sneak this you whether they have yeah, a different they or not. All they want, but I got exes that day. sneak this me. I don't have them as a friend, but they still sneak this me. Yeah, but I think other people scream that and send it to me. This is not the problem for me. It's like to me, it's equivalent to an ex keep calling and texting you. It's the same as they keep adding you and DMing you. But what if they like, just follow you and they don't add you? Then what? Then it's not a problem. So, they don't, they don't, y'all never say like what you said, outside, out of mind, but why would you go look for them to unfollow no, them if they're not even bothering I you? I said in the beginning, if they not, y'all ain't got no words for each other, y'all just follow them, that's fine. Proceed, I don't care. But the second all these acts are coming back and forth and blah, 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 they look, something need to happen. Make some shit. I don't give a fuck if you're not replying. It's annoying me. So, no, that, that, that's, yeah. that's still, that's, that's more that's, of an that's insecurity on you. That's, yeah, that's, that's your insecurity. insecurity on you. That's your insecurity. Because for me, it's like, bro, it's like, it's equivalent to a gnat. A gnat can't fucking kill you. But the fact that he find your fucking face annoys you. And what but, that, but what if he don't annoy you? Just by that logic, you would mean you would be telling her to unfollow every nigga that's at her, she liking exactly. her pictures. That because it's bothering. And, and then some exes you still cool with, like y'all family friends and everything. Y'all don't have no beef. Y'all don't have no smoke. Regardless of the fact, ex had a little different status, bro. Keep it real. No, but even still, if your ex still liking your pictures and shit, that that's something that's you can't. What you, 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 I'm not saying like in the picture. What I'm saying, a constant. The nigga like 50 pictures at a time. Who cares? Like, well, no. shit. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? And let me tell you something. These niggas sitting up here debating me about the shit now, but. When it happened, no, 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 they, but they, 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 they not in the game. They're not telling you that shit. It's don't not mean that game. No, no, no. I am game. that calm about it because it did happen. Don't try to speak for me in front of the camera, nigga. I'm telling you, y'all, and I'm going to clarify that. Listen, it did happen, and that shit don't bother me. I'm a grown ass man. You with me? That's your insecurity. You with me? That shit don't bother me. If you let some simple shit like that bother you, like, oh, her ex always like her picture. Her ex always like her picture. You laid up with me, but he liking your pictures because he want to be with you. So is a lot of other niggas, bro. That shit don't bother me. I'm not a fan of that shit. You can call it security, whatever you want to call it. I'm not yeah. a fan of that. If a nigga your ex DM you all, I'm not a fan of none of that shit, bro. Like that's me personally. And if your nigga, if my nigga not complaining about it, what the fuck am I following him for? It's not bothering us. Yeah, I didn't, I'm saying it depends. I didn't disagree with y'all. It depends. Depends, but, but uh. I just explained why it depends. No, he he yeah. Uh, as far as as far as he wants you, but you will go no, go he said, No, he said no. He no no no. He's not saying that. What he's saying is no. But in this situation, like if. They're constantly doing that, then he will want you to go and unfollow. Now, if I'm in a relationship and my ex is steady DMing me, at me, and I'm going to unfollow her to, to not even let it get to a point where it could cause confusion or anything like that. In my situation, because a lot, to keep it yeah, real, a lot of people feel like if a motherfucker constantly talking to you or trying to talk to you or DM you, whatever, keeping feet, maybe you're giving them a reason to. A lot of motherfuckers ain't gonna, like and I ain't gonna admit that, that's true. That's and that's a fact. True. That's it's all it's, it's, it's right? it's something. It is. So but that's a fact. So I, I get what I'll you're be saying. a damn fool to act like that shit don't pop into your head. He's so trying to avoid the conflict before it starts. Exactly. So it depends. You I can take steps to kind of shrink a situation down, even if it's gonna happen anyways. I can stop certain things. From happening. We're gonna break up, or something's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, but don't let it be for certain shit. Like I, I'm going to die one day. I increase my chances by hanging around niggas that's getting shot at every fucking day. Mm -hmm. I decrease them chances of me dying tomorrow by staying my motherfucking ass in the house. Me dying natural causes is something I can't do nothing about. Okay. Me but going out there and getting shot the fuck up, I can do something about that more times than not. But you can get shot yeah. anyway. You don't gotta be hanging with nobody. You can't, and that's just. You could be going to the grocery store. And I say you decrease your but chances you decrease depending chances. on where you're at. So I, don't believe I can that, decrease though. the chances of any problems being solved if you like, before my girl even say anything. You like the 40 pictures? Oh, nah, nah, nah. Watch out. Because your girl is probably going to think, yo, what the fuck? 
That's one she extra, might not. That's one extra like I got. I'm not finna go one for him. Fuck him. Yeah, that's cool, but that ain't gonna work. I don't work. care. He can like every picture. You know I don't care. Man. There you have it, folks. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say the dog strikes again. I did. Um, he did. She did. You know, she's a pit bull. I can't lie to you. She kind of shook my pride, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. Mr. She yells a lot. Okay, Mr. Insecure. You over talk everybody. Oh, shallow too. Let's not forget shallow. <laughs> you shallow. He don't let nobody get their own I'm insecure. I'm shallow. I over talk you. I hate women. Apparently, I got a lot of things. I never said you hate women, but. I'm going with the guy that seem to think all these things about me, but none of y'all can come up here and decide from the cheat it very well today. She I don't know why you feel like you won. You got. I just came up here and brought the energy. She brought the energy. She came up. The here. word win never came out my mouth. Oh, okay, we just clarified it. We all win. As long as you get your point across, we all win. But yep. So listen, guys. She came with the energy. She she said it. She said she was coming up here to argue, and that's exactly what she did. I'm not impressed. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. And that's about it, really. Uh, shout out anything, any uh. And devils you included in. You smack my nigga very hard. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, no, I don't want to shout out anybody besides myself, my own company, <laughs> Jewelry Junkies. No, write the, um, the at name there. It's on Instagram. Shut up with IG. Yeah, 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 that works. And while she's doing that, listen, y'all. I clean wigs. So, ladies, if you need your wigs cleaned, fellas, if you want your, if you want your girl to stop wearing that dirty ass wig, y'all go ahead and follow me. Care. Follow me on Twitter. At underscore the very best and contact me about getting your wigs clean. Jewelry junkie, what type mm -hmm. of jewelry do you sell? Accessories, sterling and silver. I think the gold link you ain't talking about. Oh no, baby, we ain't got no um license for that. <laughs> <laughs> Cost a lot of money. Well, we sell accessories, we sell waist shapers, we sell everything. Anything that, that you kinda looking for, I'm in it. So you got jewelry, wigs, and this is what I do. I think I prefer sums it up. I'm the only one that's making a profit from this shit. That's crazy. Uh talk to the gym.